I'm a free form day today. We're trying to make it up as we go along, which is my life motto. So um, we have Beth Mario and Haruna. Sorry, it's very early in the morning. So if we can get a round of introductions of yourself. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I'm having a good day, I'm having a good time. Hi. Um, so my name is Bethan Walker and I play Alizé in Final Fantasy XIV and I have been having the most amazing con. I have never seen a con this big ever, so I spent the whole week going. <laughs> it's been really beautiful and really overwhelming, so it's nice to meet you. Hola. Hi. I am Mario Castañeda from Mexico City. I've been working in the voice dubbing industry for 40 years. I am the voice of uh, Goku, Dragon Ball's Goku, for 27 years for the Latin American territory. And it's my pleasure to be here for the first time in, in DC. It's, it's a huge convention, really. Uh, it's the most crowded uh, convention I've attended. So thank you for uh, inviting me and uh, bringing me here. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hi everyone, many of you old guys want to have Japanese, so I speak Japanese, okay? Hi, I am Ikezawa Haruna because I think you really want me to speak Japanese. And I cannot speak <laughs> English, okay? Um, I, I, really I cannot speak I, I English, really okay? <laughs> え、日本のトットコハムタロウのロコちゃんとトラハムちゃんやあとはそうですねワンピースのケイミーなどの役をやっていますあ、マイドゥボイスイズアイツーロールズインハムタロウアムハルカロコちゃんロコちゃんエン
in the yes. US. Yes, <laughs> and they dubbed from our uh, version, so it was weird. Oh, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember um, uh, Funimation, first season when it was still being done in Vancouver, Canada. Yes. And um, uh, yeah, it was just such a different world back then. There are three uh, Gokus from Canada. Yes, yes, yes. One Mexican and, <laughs> and Sean. <laughs> Uh, oh, Masako Nozawa. Masako, I don't know her. I, you know, I, I met her. I, I was, I, I could meet her. She came to the U.S. to the L.A. for the premiere of uh, Resurrection of uh, Frieza, and uh, they invited me. Twenty Century Fox said we wanted to go there, but I had a contract to present myself in Chile, in Santiago, for the Latin American final of League of Legends. So I couldn't attend. Yes, it was so sad. I would like someday. Uh, I mean, someday. So, um, so good to see you again after all these. Thank years. you. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. So, do you, Beth? Do you live in the UK or do you live in the LA? I live in the UK. I live in a very small English country village, just in Kent, down south below London. So you. Um, uh, so when you work for like Big Finish doing a Doctor Who audio books, mm -hmm. um, do you go into town or do you do it remotely? So do you know there's a studio, you know normally when we get booked, it, there's studios miles away and there happens to be just one down in Kent and, and the Big Finish stuff is recorded there. Okay. So yeah, so that's, yeah, it's the, the Doctor Who family stories and, we, and I've done lots of audio books there. It's been great fun. Would you uh, record it in your home? You have yeah, so actors have cupboards now with like duvets and pillows and, and yeah, so, so during the pandemic, lots of us had to create these home studios. You might have heard this a few times this weekend. Um, I'm not a technician, I've discovered, but I, I do my best. You know, they're quite handy for casting. Sometimes you get auditions yes. and they say, can you just send a tape? Yes. Just send something with your voice doing this accent. So it's handy to have it. So I have a, I have a home studio set up, um, but yeah, I prefer being in studio personally. Do you guys record from home ever? Yes. Well, I live in Mexico City, and it's a huge city, so uh, you you lose one hour just to go from one studio to the other. So it's uh, better to record from home, because I stay there, and I can be naked. No, I'm sorry. Pants? We don't need pants. You don't need them. So it's it's great to, now you, uh, thanks to the pandemia, we discovered the session link, and uh, now we use it every time. Yes. 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 No, how did that sound? Um, um, when, when you... So, Disney, I know... I'm sorry, um, I wanted to ask you a different question. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, during the pandemic, what was recording in Japan like? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> パンデミックの間しばらくアフレコはストップしていましたでも日本ではカナラザのみんなが集まってアフレコをするというのが関心になっていたので何ヶ月かはストップをしていてそれからあとは少しずつ集まり始めましたそう so, uh, during the pandemic um, anime recordings pretty much stopped and then we started slowly coming back um, did you do online recording? No, never? no, never. Because um, the thing about Japanese dubbing is that even though it's ADR, they all get in a room together and record yeah. in one room, like if it was a prelay. Okay. So if you watch a Japanese dub, the mouth flaps aren't exactly all that accurate sometimes. クオリティの違いもあるので、必ずみんなスタジオに集まってやるのが基本ですね。So the basics is everybody's in the room with you when you're dubbing. So they all have to sit there with scripts in their hands, looking at the time code, and then say that, step up to the microphone, yeah, it's say like the line, step back, and, and they, it's like a, I watch this happen, and it's like a choreographed dance. Look how horrifying so Mario looks. <laughs> and we're the closest, of course. Yeah, nobody naked. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they, they wear clothes that doesn't make sounds. And, and yeah, yeah. how they yeah. can flip through five pages without making a sound, sound? is amazing. Yes. You don't have a sound uh, guide. No, you, you, you are just... Uh... 
They're just holding a script. Are you? Time code. Time code and some. Um, and then rough, most of the time, it's um, a rough animation mm -hmm. with pencils, and their character's name would name pop up on the screen. Okay. And they, no. they oh, say the that. line. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. 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 会話が大事なのでそこに集まってみんなと会話をする相手と言葉を交わしながらアフェクを進めていく相手の芝居によって自分の芝居も変わる。So, I mean, what we feel in Japan for dubbing, the whole conversation, being able to react to each other, we hold very important so that if you're all in the room, your performance replying to another actor in the room speaking、um, changes your own performance and it makes it more natural. But、uh, in the US, I think, or Mexico, we have to do it one by one. Yes. So we, in Japan, you still call it、uh, dubbing? It is dubbing. Okay. Because, you know, the definition of dubbing is to change the language of a、um, line. If it, if it is in, in Japanese, then you change it to English or Spanish, and that's dubbing.、Uh, when we、um, produce a, a cartoon, We first record all the voices, all the sound, and then they animate based on that so sound. So that's a prelay? Yes, that's a prelay. So、uh, in Japan, they don't have a distinction between prelay shows and, and ADR shows. Okay. They're all sort of done with pencil and it's considered afreko, after recording, which is ADR. Okay. okay. So everything is ADR, but it's more like a, a hybrid of, of、okay. um, a prelay and. You know, I had, a, I had a problem with Spain the other day, a couple of months ago.、Uh, somebody wrote in Twitter,、uh, I'm, I'm sad of、uh, reading that、uh, Spanish dubbing is not good. We are, we, we are good, and sometimes,、uh, like for instance in Dragon Ball,、uh, Spanish dub is as good as Japanese dub. And I said,、uh, no. <laughs> and they, they put a couple of、uh, videos there, a couple of clips, and、uh, I said the Japanese version is not voice dubbing, it's an original. You're not dubbing from no language, so. And a, a wave of hate arised and、uh, covered me. It was awful. Let them hate. <laughs> I love your voice. You sound like, like living anime. And this is, <laughs> I, I'm, we are listening to you and you sound, and this is, oh my God, this is it's beautiful. It's like having a, a living anime by my side. It's very nice. Thank you, Mario. <laughs> Um, so, do we have any questions from the?、Uh, okay.、Um, here, I'm just going to hand you the microphone. All right, so I did have a question about with the dubbing with,、uh, in the UK. I know that when you get a lot of shows, when you, come, when you bring them,、um, especially like from America or anything, they kind of, do they just more than this, leave it like in America, like from America, or sometimes you're like, let's do this over in, in the Queen's English. Does that ever happen? That's a very good question. The Queen's English is a big thing in the UK. The King's English. The King's English. <laughs> Sorry. Apologies, my lord.、Um, it's a really good question. It's a really good question. I don't know the answer to that. I really don't. I've never heard of, I mean, English, there's loads of English drama, obviously, but I've never heard of English RP. We call it received pronunciation. A E I O U, darling. It's very, very, very English. I've never heard of English, clean English dubbing over American. Have you? Okay, I wonder. I mean, it, perhaps. I mean, if you're watching The West Wing and everybody's speaking in British accents,、mm -hmm. it would be really weird.、Yeah. And if、yeah. you're watching The、yeah. Crown and everybody sounded Texan,、uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. It's weird. I mean, it might be entertaining. <laughs> I'll get to you in a second. Oh, no, I'll get to you in a second. Okay.、Uh, hello.、Uh, so, my question kind of goes. Place off what that conversation you were having earlier with、uh, the differences in like how in like Japan during there was no、uh, nothing going on in, in during the pandemic 
Meanwhile, like the UK, you try to go into the studio in Mexico, they do it all from home. I was wondering about like, what are the, like, the differences in how like each country kind of approaches doing the, the, the work? Because I know there are differences between like video game and like uh, anime dubbing because that brought, brought up at the uh, panel yesterday. So I was wondering about just like differences on how each country kind of approaches getting the job done. In, in terms of when we're in studio? Yeah, when you're yeah. in studio, yeah. like the cult, work culture, how you approach it, that type of stuff. Yeah. Uh, hopefully I worded that well enough. Yeah, you did, you did. Um, I'll just answer quickly, then I'll pass it down. We, I see very few visuals um, when I'm recording Alizé. Okay, if we're lucky, it's like, a, it's like gold dust when you see a visual, like largely we don't. Sometimes we get really strict time sinks, so we have to kind of sync really, really cleanly. So the dubbing thing, um, in terms of the, the tech, calling it dubbing technically, Colin and I do from time to time, but it's not done a lot. A lot of the time, it's just us in studio alone in a room that's kind of this big. You know, it's quite small, and you know, we're reading off a screen, and occasionally, often for things like trailers, there's a really specific dub that we need to do. Um, and it will either be audible or it will be something like, a, you know, words, or it will be something like, you know, battle cry stuff. And it's really precise and we have to get it to the visual. But we, we have like um, lines that go across the screen. Do you get that? Time sync lines. And they're very helpful because you learn. And they say things like, we need it to be like 2.1 seconds or 1.6 seconds. And you're like, because I know what that means. <laughs> so you just do your best. That's all you can do. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's quite technical and it's very precise. But I find the visual incredibly helpful when we get it. Always. Yes. Well, uh, we, we, always, we always work alone. You never work with nobody. We used to do it in the, ba in the past, but it was a long time left. Um, we use, sometimes uh, we use paper still, or we're uh, using uh, that kind of um, um, techniques with uh, the lines in the, the picture, but not always. Uh, sometimes we use iPads, yeah. and uh, you know we have the, this. Um, we used to have a pencil or a pen in the hand. It, it's not that you're going to use it because you can uh, draw in the yeah. in the yeah. screen. Yeah. But it, it's like um, psychological help, you know, to have it here in your hand. <laughs> yes, and uh, we record little uh, lines. You can cut. The, the whole speech in little parts, you can uh, remember them and then you can go piece by piece. For instance, when you record the, the work of uh, Jim Carrey and he's doing those. <laughs> so you, you go. <laughs> and then you play it along. Oh, you're a genius. No, I'm not. I just, <laughs> I just cut it so we, we do it that way and. Uh, even in the um, Vegito or Gogeta in Dragon Ball, Rene Garcia, Vegeta, and myself never recorded together. We have always recorded uh, uh, alone. Um, but I do a lot of work today at home uh, in my booth. Um, we discovered that you may have the best uh, microphone, the best uh, interface, the best computer. But if your internet is not good, yes. you have a bad dubbing. It's yes, yeah. and, and sometimes uh, we discover that if you have the best microphone, the engineer say, you know, I'm listening to the dog barking two streets away from your home, so you need to change your microphone. It's too good. <laughs> or you need to get a better booth. Yes. <laughs> yes, you have. That's the problem now. We, we are trying to improve uh, all these new techniques. You know, you. Working in LA, it's like a lot of the actors are in Burbank, and it's like, okay, I have to pause, plane flying overhead. So yeah. Most people are right next to the Burbank airport. <laughs> I'm really entertained yeah. by listening to the differences of how dubbing is done in other countries. Yes, we would never be able to do piece piecemeal long lines. We've got to do all of it at once. 
A パートと B パートと大体アニメはあの CM を挟んで 2, 2パートに分かれているんですけど A パートは A パートでいっぺんに撮ります。唯一別々に撮るのはセリフが一緒に喋っている時だけそれ以外は全員が同じパートを四八分のやつを止めずにいっぺんに撮ります。間違えたらとりあえず最後まで撮って間違えたら戻ってそこだけ撮り直しますあの監督とあの録音の人がいるんですけど、はいはい、いや、まあ、as the recording is happening the director and the assistant director would make notes saying okay we've got to retake this line retake this line but、um, one of the things I noticed is in Japan actors get booked out for the day Even if the actor only has one line, they, they want the whole group there,、mm -hmm. so they book、It's、them for the、so、day. It's so high pleasure for me <laughs> to make mistakes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, especially when they're in a room full of veterans. <laughs> and then you're the brand new actor and you blow your line. Oh my god. But、um, the veterans are so good that if. The person falls behind, they'll wait for that person to finish and then continue going at the right pace. So it just has to be a minor adjustment.、Wow. And、um, uh, yeah, they'll just cover each other, you know, and do the dance of stepping up to the microphone. It's crazy. And I have to add, you know, one thing up during the pandemic is. Everybody got home booths.、Yes. And what was great was during the pandemic, I was able to work with many more actors than I normally would. Usually you're stuck with a locale, you know, a studio in Burbank. Okay, we can only bring in LA, Southern LA actors. But during the pandemic, everybody had a fast internet connection and a recording booth at home. I was working with te Texas actors,、yes. I was with New York actors. All over Latin America. Yeah, and Steve Bloom, you know, Spike、yeah. Spiegel, he lives in Hawaii, and he just sort of <laughs> connects from there. And he decided to move with the fast internet connection, you could work from anywhere. And everybody wants to work with Steve, so he could live anywhere and he could connect. That's great. And、um, another thing you, you, you'd be surprised with that they mentioned a little bit. There's a thing called a rhythmo band or mind band. The, the dialogue goes across the screen, like karaoke. So lines come across. And if, if they need to be loud, the letters get bigger. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? <laughs> That's deep cut from me, maybe. <laughs> you know, in the past, in the, past, in the Mexican dubbing industry, we used to work together. Like you, like you say, and、uh, you knew the, the veterans, the people who invent, invented the industry in Mexico. My generation is the、uh, third actor's generation in voice dubbing. So I was there, I was the new one with the, with the old ones, and nobody said nothing. And、uh, you had to deliver your line and try to make it the best,、uh, not to make your. Self a fool, so、uh, sometimes somebody reach you in the shoulder and make this, and that meant okay, <laughs> <laughs> that was everything, and you could be happy because they were saying to you, You are you are learning, you you've are, made it, you've made it, <laughs> that was great. All right, let's go to another question. Um. So, my question revolves around、uh, mainly towards the non、uh, Japanese、um, actors of how, well, in, well, when you're doing like the, the source material, you don't have, I guess, you don't have anything to really bounce off of. It's sort of like, I, I guess it's just a thing in my head where it's like, 
at least when you're dubbing, you have some kind of point of reference that you could refer to, though I have heard um, actors uh, sort of stepping away from that sort of like inspiration. It's like, oh, I could probably do it like this or whatever the original actor was doing for the dub, if that makes sense. Okay, so um, uh, you, you, you feel that um, uh, unlike the Japanese actors who have to make up a voice right then and there, um, the, 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 the other languages have something to refer against? Yes. L am I a little off? Uh, yes, that's, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> that, 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 I, I will admit, the question was worded. Okay, um, yeah, um, advice to everyone, if you have a question, write it down on your phone. <laughs> so you don't have to try to remember it when the microphone's in your face. My, my apologies. No, 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 it's okay. Um, Should I just say one quick thing? Yes, okay, yes. Well, just one quick thing that I think people may or may not know about actors is we, we sometimes have very, very little time in studio and we have to make very quick decisions and we have to be very instinctive and there isn't time to worry if it's good or not. You know, you just have to hit it like hard straight away. And I think, um, for example, with Final Fantasy, we don't, sometimes we give loads of context. They'll talk for 10, you know, well, not 10 minutes, two minutes maybe about, about the scene and where we are in the world, you know, because if not playing it means we don't really know the world, so we, we get told. But sometimes you get no context at all and you just need to hit it really, really, really hard. And I think that accuracy and courage is a big thing as, a, as an actor. And you just got to throw it out there and trust. You know, if the director says nothing, it's good, you're moving on, you know? And you may get a note, but sometimes they just go, great, move on. And I think that comes when you really sell it, you know? Even if you're not, like, deep down, you're like, Pfft. I don't know. I don't know if this is the right thing, but you just you just hit it hard, and I think that can sometimes you know be the best thing. Even how many times do you rehearse your lines? We don't, just we don't rehearse. never. So you just record it directly. Yeah, yeah um, okay. I don't think most U.S. actors either. They don't get the scripts ahead of time. They just come into no, the studio. No, I, I mean, in, in Mexico, when you when you start working, you you have the lines, and you rehearse uh, one time. You see the line. You see the rhythm. You see the the, um, the melodic form and the words and everything and uh, you feel the acting you feel the the original and then you record the you, know, I, I, you have my respect because most actors don't come in that well prepped <laughs> You know, if you ever watched that Simpsons episode where Krusty comes in, or when Homer's trying to dub, okay. goes, move out of the way, amateur. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, I'm out. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, that's what it feels like to work with U.S. actors sometimes because they're busy people. Um, but I do like making sure we get the right lines. And that's when the director comes into play. Yes. Especially if they're recording separately, the director has to have in their mind, yes how big the first person to record yes. the yelling scene yes. needs yes. to be match. so that the next actor yeah. comes in can match it. Yes. And um, uh, sometimes when you're doing a political a, a, a free life, um, I remember there was um, um, a Superman story. Uh, he goes, okay, you're speaking in a huge, large you know, auditorium saying, and uh, making some sort of speech. When the animation happened, there's like 20 people in the audience <laughs> in a small oh hall, God. and it's like, okay, we gotta pick that line up. Yes. <laughs> um, and I do, you know when the actor's saying, okay, I think that was good enough, I think we could move on. And I love saying, being a backseat director, which is what a producer is, mm -hmm. director uh, look, at back, look at me and say, what do you think? I go, so, Mario? Are you satisfied as an actor? Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, let me do it again. <laughs> never, never say that to an actor. We are never satisfied. We can do it better and better and better. And we yes. think we do it better, of course. We, so, we the same, most but... actors will say, wait, wait, that didn't sound good. I think I got another one in me. But when they're, it's like, okay, I did this five times. I don't want to do this again. He goes, well, as long as you're satisfied as an artist, we can move on. <laughs> All right, next question. I'm going to go back here a little bit. Oh, you have a question? Hi, Hanjo. Pregunto. Nihon dewa gaya toyu mono o toru koto ga arimasu. How can I say in English, gaya? Uh, um, uh, in Japan, the cast records Walla. Okay, yes. Walla. Walla is a, a stage actor's term mm -hmm. with means with all actors. Walla. Ah, yeah, but. Everybody's speaking at the same time. Okay. Yeah, speaking the 
noise of the background here でも一人ずつ撮っているから海外だと all together にはならないわけですよねその場合どう,どうやって撮るんですか When the actor's about to leave, the next actor arrives at the studio. So you say, hey, you guys have a few minutes, come on in. And you record the both of them, then send them away. And before that person leaves, the next person comes in. And then we'll try to pick and do like six passes. Yes. Or we'll just have the one actor do a bunch of voices six different times. And we'll do that with every actor that comes in. And then we could mix and match. And, And then uh, in Mexico we make uh, Walla sessions. Yeah, we the you, Walla you call uh, three three girls, three boys, or four four, and then um, it depends. If it's for TV, uh, we can uh, do the Walla at the same time. But if it's for theatrical, for the for the movies, uh, we record one line each one. So you go one 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 little little phrases. Uh, buenas tardes. Tengo calor. ¿Dónde estás? ¿Y mi suéter? ¿Qué hora es? So you, you go recording and then they uh, put that in all, all the, the channels and that's the way we do it. Yeah. Yes. Sounds time consuming. Yes. <laughs> 日本だとその和はも全部みんな一緒に撮るので後ろでもいろいろな意味のある会話がなされていて例えばパーティーだったらここは離婚間近の夫婦の役<笑>自分たちで作ってそれもすごく面白い。Japanese recording session all the actors are in the room so they'll be in the background talking while the main characters in the front and they'll just make up stories And a male and a female actor might start acting like a couple who are about to get a divorce. <laughs> and other people will just have other conversations like at a party. Okay. So, but they're getting paid. Kudo, each and each booking is going to do it. Everybody gets paid. If somebody talks one, only one phrase or 100 phrase, no change. Yeah. yeah everybody has their rate. だから100個と喋っている主役よりも1個と喋っている敵役の方が高いこともある全部その役者のレート。Oh, each actor has a rate. Okay. Because that's all negotiated. The agent doing negotiations are this. Okay. So, you know, getting five Marios compared to getting five Mies would be very different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that makes sense. I, I remember um, uh, there was a series I worked on back in the 90s where the main character is very robotic and only would speak a little. Um, Uh, it's actually, she's here, Iwao Junko, mm -hmm. in the show called Key the Metal Idol. And I remember one episode, she's only in the next episode trailer, and she says, Kiwa. <laughs> and she got paid her rate for the whole day booking because she had to be there, and they called her Kyurio <laughs> Dorobo, the, um, the, the, the pay thief. <laughs> there, are, there are a lot of episodes in Brown Ball. In which uh, Goku is, is dead. So <laughs> I, I had no, no lines. But in every episode at the end, always Goku says, Hola, soy Goku. And the next episode is this and that. And they pay me my whole budget just for that. I love Goku. <laughs> He bought me a house. <laughs> You'll have to interpret yourself. I, I, oh, I definitely will. <laughs> I, I do it with my parents all the time. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes, Mario. Yo quise preguntar, bueno, primero, viva México. Yo también, mis padres son mexicanos. Y yo nací aquí, pero. 
yo quise preguntar, cuando usted primero empezó a hacer el voz de, el voz de Goku, que, ¿cuáles dificultades tenías haciendo todo ese trabajo? Y también si usted sabía que ibas a, iba a ser un parte de cultura grande de México, que casi todo el México, y más en el, el Distrito Federal, donde también nació y creció mi mamá, uh, casi muchos de ahí siempre andan hablando de Dragon Ball. Essentially, I was asking him uh, when he first started uh, voicing Goku, what difficulties did he have? And if he ever knew he was going to be a part of, like a big part of Spanish culture, since everyone in Mexico just loves Goku. Yeah. Well, I inherited Goku from Laura Torres. She, she was the, the actress who gave uh, little kid Goku the voice. And uh, my work is based on her work uh, at the start. You know, Goku grew up, but he, he was just like a teenager. So the first time I saw it, uh, I said to, the, to Gloria Rocha, the dialogue director, my voice doesn't work for this character. She said, oh, it works perfectly. Just, just uh, hide your pitch a little and... Uh, Bulma, Krillin, Tenshin Han. I tried to speak like a teenager and it's okay, great. And, uh, okay, I didn't like it at the beginning, uh, but it was uh, a challenge, so... Um, although I, I, I said no at the beginning because we had a fight, Gloria and me, and uh, I didn't want to work with her. But my, my son, Arturo, was eight years old and he, he came ballistic when I told him I had rejected Goku. <laughs> you have, you have to, to record Goku, you have to be Goku. It, not because of me, because of him, of course. He was invited to a lot of uh, parties. Because of that. <laughs> he controlled he, the, the mafia in his school. <laughs> yes, it was, it was bad. So um, it changed my life. Gloria was giving me Latin America. He, she was putting Latin America in my hands. You know, um, voice actors um, didn't have this um, um, in touch with the people. Uh, we were uh, anonymous, so Dragon Ball has taken me all over Latin America and Mexico and now the US, and that's incredible. Yes, and um, I am so lucky and so thankful for all this. Thank you. You know, I thought you were gonna answer in Spanish, and I was gonna have to have ask Harun Hassan translate for you. <laughs> No puedo hablar español. Nani? Nanda to? Those are the only words. Watashi. That's it. No, 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 Can we move on? <laughs> I really don't want to take away from your moment. <laughs> Hi, do you have a favorite line that you've dubbed? And can you explain the scene, like what the dubbing was like? Was it easy or hard? And maybe give an example of that line. Thank you for writing your question down. Who was that for? Hey, who was? Who? Um, yeah, why not? Everybody. Three people. Your favorite line. Uh, and... Okay. There is episode 86 in Dragon Ball Seat. It's my favorite because Vegeta dies. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then Goku uh, has to fight uh, Frieza. And uh, there's a dialogue there. He, he takes the, the body of Vegeta and buries him and then says, para que hayas llorado y me pidieras ese favor, tu angustia debió ser muy grande, Vegeta. Yo sé que no odiabas a ese hombre por lo que le hizo a los Saiyajin, sino por la forma en la que los humilló. No sabes cuánto te odiaba, pero tenías el orgullo de un Saiyajin. Quiero que me des un poco de ese orgullo. Yo soy un Saiyajin criado en la tierra. Por todos los guerreros Saiyajin que asesinaste, 
y también por todos los Namekuseín que mataste, juro que te exterminaré. That's Goku speaking in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I see the guy over there crying. <laughs> Yeah, no, Beth? Um. Uh, mine's four words long. Does anyone play Final Fantasy here? Yay! I guess you guys do. Yay! Um, okay, it's four words long. Are we ready? I am not Alfredo! I have so many roles I've played and there's so much, so much memories to, that I remember. I have so many roles I've played and there's so much, so much memories to, that I remember. Okay, Hamtaro from Roko-chan. Okay, Roko-chan from Hamtaro. see a lot of the recordings going on so yes it was nice to hear that voice because the American voice for her um, played Kagome for me in Inuyasha. Inuyasha oh, okay. <laughs> Kagome ga ketsu da ne ego no so so sort of brought back memories. Okay. All righty I'm gonna go to not brand approved Pikachu. <laughs> 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 this one came from Don Quixote. <laughs> hi, I'm Casey from Philippines. I'm actually very involved in the dubbing industry of my country. So I'm very curious with all the dubbing. I'm very close to Goku in my country. So I go crazy when I'm uh, from Philippines. Yeah, I'm very friends with Goku in my country, so. I'm like super excited when it comes to dubbing. So um like so in the Portland uh, dubbing we have this like we go off script like sometimes because like the dubbing in Japanese is like sometimes they speak and the script does not sync yeah. to it. So do you go off like off script just to like get the dubbing right? Right? Yes. That's my question. We have Thank you. Yeah, Gloria Rocha, the, the dialogue director, used to have some some lines prepared. Uh, I don't know if you had to say, uh, get out of here. And she used to, okay, say, it's sad for me to have to tell you, get out of here. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. We invented some so, to, so we could um, feed the rhythm. Yeah. And uh, yes, but very little, not, not, not a lot. For instance, in, in Spanish, Vegeta says, insecto, insect. You're an insect. Get out of here, insect. And uh, <laughs> uh, that doesn't exist in Dragon Ball. But uh, they were looking for a word to humiliate uh, somebody, I don't know. And uh, Gloria said, uh, say something awful, uh, stupid. No, 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 the kids. Uh, imbecile. No, 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 no. Like a bug, like insect, insect. That's it. There is a t shirt industry in Latin America with insecto, oh, wow. you know, <laughs> millions of dollars are because of that word. Wow. And Rene has received nothing. <laughs> that's it, that's life. Well, I mean, w when dubbing, um, uh, the, the US especially, really pay attention to mouth flaps. So we try to be flap accurate. Um, Japan being the apetical, uh, uh, critical, the, a lot of the times you get like, you know, jinky this guy. <laughs> and, but it's okay, it's, it's not as an important factor. The more important part in Japanese performances is the performance itself. Okay. And, but it, we just can't, in the world of dubbing, we have to be flat accurate or it looks like a dub. But yes, <laughs> yes. 
I mean, it's like watching a old, old, badly dubbed Chinese kung fu movie. Yes. Yeah. It's like basta. <laughs> it's like oh boy, that's like two syllables and five flaps. Sometimes, and sometimes you listen to the to the voice, yeah. and the mouth is shut. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you say, oh, that's the voice of his heart. <laughs> you know? And let me give you an excuse. Yeah. <laughs> And a lot of the times when we're dubbing, there's no picture, just your name comes up, okay? <laughs> we're doing our best to match a non-existent flap, okay? <laughs> Um, I got to work in the Philippines a couple times back when I was at Viz. I did Great Dangayo and Corrector Yui was dubbed in um, uh, dubbed in Philippines in English. <laughs> you go what? <laughs> yeah, um, it was one of those grand experiments. It goes everybody in the Philippines, if they're educated, speaks English. <laughs> you know, they have actors, and I have to make sure certain words were pronounced correctly because. Sometimes Filipino English has the emphasis on the wrong syllable. <laughs> so it was it was a definite experience. Um, so fifteen minutes. I, I, I knew this was going to go by really fast. Do you have any questions? I know we've got plenty of people behind me. I'm asking if you guys wanted to ask anything. So I often get jobs to dub foreign shows. So when I'm doing that, I think I feel the same things you do. So I have to, I always find myself questioning, do I match the voice of the actor or do I try to make up a voice of that character? Yes. So the, the parts that I really have to wonder is like the understanding of what cute kawaii sounds like in Japan compared to the other countries or what sexy voice sounds like in Japanese to another country might be different. Um, what do you do in your cases? Um, well, when you, when you when you dub, you have to understand the character, and um, you have to think, how do we say that in Spanish, in Mexico, and Latin America? Uh, sometimes, for example, uh, it's chimichanga time. <laughs> we never say that <laughs> in Mexico. So how would you say it in Spanish? But you have to find a way to translate it to the rhythm and uh, some sort of sound in Spanish. Because we don't, uh, or for, uh, uh, those uh, preachers, uh, I have seen the Lord and he spoke to me. And our, our uh, 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 church people never speak like that. They speak normal, so that, that sound doesn't, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> That sound doesn't exist in Spanish. I have seen the world. So when you when you dub that, you have to understand um, the character and try to imagine how would that sound in our country. If you dub for Disney, you have to match the sound. But uh, Cartoon Network or Pokemon, you you have some liberty to just understand the, the character and deliver your your original version and that had to work. And if that worked in your language, that's okay. You don't have to sound exactly the same because 
that would be like a, a clone and that doesn't work for voice dubbing. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I, there's a lot to be said for playfulness, you know, as a voice actor, you have to play and you have to be willing to get it wrong. Though, what you were saying about recording all in one go, like we don't do that. So that pressure, there's always that mentality of, I could do it again, you know, so you can play. But, um, but breath, I was thinking about breath and how important, you know, breath is huge. And sometimes when we're trying to be accurate as well, making those decisions, sometimes actually it's the, it's getting it. People think, you know, your voice with this, your voice with your whole body, don't you? You really, really do. So yeah, just be, just being brave. You know, making really, really brave choices is important, I think. Good, how are you? Are you happy with this one? Okay. All right. Okay, we'll go. Okay. I, you know, I was going to go over there, but he's so close. <laughs> <laughs> it's not personal. <laughs> Um, okay, so is there a series or video game that any of you would want to voice in that you obviously don't currently? Like, uh, Beth, you're basically just in uh, Final Fantasy, but has there, have you ever wanted to voice in like an anime or a cartoon? And questions for all of you. I've dubbed a lot of stuff and uh, I, I feel lucky and I feel uh, good. Uh, there is one movie, one Jim Carrey's movie, uh, Lemon is Naked. Uh, I, I didn't uh, doubt that, that movie. I saw it in the, in the theater and I thought, oh, I would like to, to doubt this work. But uh, it was already doubt. So, and uh, Ruben Trujillo, the, the voice actor who doubt uh, Jim Carrey, did a wonderful work. So what could I say? That's the only time that, that I, I felt uh, sad for me. <laughs> yeah, it's early days for me, as you rightly said. I mean, it's been eight years, but, um, but yeah, Alizé has been my focus. Things like Elden Ring, you know, like, there's, there's so much, yeah, I know, I know. It's just beautiful, and stuff like that as an actor is really kind of intoxicating, and you think, oh, I really want to do that stuff, you know. Um, and I sing, so I'd love to sing in a, you know, that sort of stuff as well, like dubbing. Um, there's so many, there's so many. I think we, we often, people often think that we get typecast, but I think we, as actors, we always want to stay flexible, you know? So when I see stuff, I think, oh, I wonder if I could do that one day, you know? And we were talking the other day about pushing yourself and pushing yourself out there, you know? So stuff like this is great because you meet more people and you hear more about their side of it. But, but yeah, Elden Ring was one I went, ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think the best thing about being a voice actor is you can become someone that you are not yourself. I would like to really do a role that's about as far away from me as possible. Being a good doctor by Freddy Highmore. Yeah. No, eh, Fiona Goodelman. Fiona Goodelman, to Stokayatir, Kim Pats no Monosgo Vision or Yakoyatimas, Cho Sexy. So I'm voicing Fiona Goodelman in uh, The Good Doctor, and she's blonde, she's sexy, and I really like voicing her. So she's the Totemo Isuari. And she's mean. <laughs> I mean, I have so much fun voicing that character. You know, to say bad words, mean things, and that would, I would never say as, as myself, being able to do it as this character is great. So I'm hoping that actor gets cast in many other things so I could also be the voice for her in other shows. <laughs> Mr. Castaneda, I have a question. <laughs> I have a request, actually. Can I hear a Kamehameha? <laughs> I, I'm not prepared for that right now. <laughs> I, I didn't. Oh, come on, audience. Do we want to hear him say Kamehameha? Yeah. The Kamehameha. 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 Yeah. The Kamehameha.
Come in, come in. Then you hold the mic. No. Okay. So that you can come in. Come on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let me tell you something. Uh, the Kamehameha is a crescendo. Okay? Kamehameha. So uh, when we were recording Broly, the picture, uh, the, the dubbing, uh, the, the picture, Broly is uh, one third they speak, two thirds they shout, they scream. So. When, I, when we got to the Kamehameha, my voice was tired, so I said to the dialogue director, you know, I don't have a Kamehameha. I mean, I have Kamehame. <laughs> I lost it, so we could record it tomorrow, or, or I can start lower. Kamehameha, so, and he said, okay, just, so that's the only one Kamehameha I have shouted that is different to all the other ones. So the Kamehameha in Spanish is like this. his tummy going <laughs> <laughs> it's hard it's hard work it's hard work that's beautiful sometimes you return home and you say oh i'm tired and they say why are you tired of you, you, you just speak <laughs> yes I, I, yes what's wrong with you i've been fighting with vegeta and people you know Broly. i'm tired <laughs> thank you and, and, and that was great right <laughs> and so i came back here to um, have you guys seen any unexpected effects of the writers and actors strike falling into the world of dubbing? No. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, sorry, in UK, I don't know how much you know, your unions are affected. I don't know if, how much Latin America is affected. In Japan, obviously none. But um, uh, in, uh, the new show that we're doing for Pokemon uh, Horizons, it's the, we switched to a union contract, but our studio has a brand new contract that was signed before the other dubbing contract expired. So thankfully, we're not affected by the strike. At least Pokemon isn't. And then since it's a union show, I get to have a lot more, you know, range of actors to come in. So uh, during San Diego Comic-Con, we showed the first 10 minutes of the new show. Uh, Check it out, plug, plug, plug. But I'm not here speaking about myself. Of course, if the if the work stops, uh, eventually the right. voice dubbing stop. Dubbing stop. You know, because we have nothing to, to dub, so let's wait for it. So we're down to the last minute or so. Instead of going out for a little question, I know you all had great questions, and I'm sorry we couldn't get to it. Any final words from everyone? What you felt, what you thought? Thank you. Thanks a lot. It was my pleasure to be here in DC, really. This is as far as I have traveled here. Uh, but I had the chance to go yesterday to the Lincoln Memorial and the White House and the, the Obelisk, and that was beautiful. You have a beautiful city. Uh, I love your country. Thank you for bringing us here. And I uh, hope this is not the last time here in Washington. Thank you. Yeah, two quick, two quick things. I just echo that, that the welcome, Colin and I have been saying it all week, the welcome here has been huge. And when you're away from home and your friends and family, to be made um, to feel so, so safe and welcome has been really precious, so thank you. But also just sat here, um, I'm so in awe of you both. And I think it's really extraordinary how, even though we're all in different parts of the world, we have, it's like family, because we have, the, we do the same thing. We use the same breath, we put the same effort in, we have the same highs and lows, and, and that's, yeah, it's really humbling, and it's lovely to feel like we're all part of the same family. Same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Same. This was my first Hakuna Matata to ever speak with other countries, and I was so excited to see that I was able to speak with other countries. This was my first to speak with voice actors from other countries. I, I, 
そしてそれはどの国の声優も同じだということが分かりましたはい私たちはその役に対して責任があるし見てくれる人にその役の魅力を届けることに責任があると思っています And to deliver that character to the audience with the same, with the same energy. これからも海を越えて国を越えて同じキャラクターに命を吹き込む仕事として手を取り合ってお仕事をしていければ嬉しいです。So I'd like to together, all of us across countries, across oceans, hand in hand, work to give voices to our characters. 声と心がつながっていることを今日感じました Huh? Yes. You want to do a photo? Yeah, um, I'll take 